Today I've got the privilege of taking a closer look at Elio Viviani's bike from Team Sky, this being his Pinarello Dogma F10. Now we've already featured Wout Paul's F10 back at their training camp in January, so it'll be interesting to see the differences between a sprinter's F10 and a climber's F10. And there are a few notable ones which I'll go through in a few moments time. Team Sky are one of the first teams to get their hands on the brand new 9150 group set from Shimano, that being their new DI2. It was launched all the way back in July of 2016, but it still seems to be almost as rare as hen's teeth. Uh, there is a slight discrepancy from that new group set though. It does run through the shifters to the brake calipers to the front and rear derailleurs and the cassette. But as you can see, he's running the previous Dura Ace crank set. And that is because of compatibility issues with stages who of course supply Team Sky with power meters. The gearing setup is pretty standard. He's got 53 and 39 teeth chain rings and an 11 up through to 28 cassettes. Now, Pinarello, of course, claimed that this new F10 is lighter, stiffer, and more aero than its predecessor, the Dogma F8. And the same thing really goes for the new Shimano wheels. There are only two in their brand new range, the C40s and the C60s, and it's the latter which you can see here on Elia's bike. They also claim that their new wheels are lighter, stiffer, and more aerodynamic. And you have to say, it was a long time coming, that update, so I'm sure that the riders at Sky will be pleased to be using these brand new wheels. Uh, on them are these Continental Competition Pro Limited 25mm tubular tyres, which we see on so many of the Pro bikes these days. And perched on the top is a Physique Arioni saddle, the longer version from Physique there with the carbon rails. Up here at the front is another difference to Wout Paul's climbing bike. Elia is using this Vibe Sprint stem from Pro, which as you can see is extremely chunky and therefore stiff. Firstly seen really when Mark Cavendish was racing for Team Sky, but the sprinters that have joined the team since also like this design. Pro provide the handlebars and the bar tape as well and they're measuring just over 42 centimeters from edge to edge. At the front is a K-Edge Garmin mount and of course he is running the satellite shifters that the sprinters like as well down here on the drops. Elite provides some of the finishing touches with these bottle cages which are the custom race plus model and I think that's pretty much it but I have been doing some measurements on the bike so he is running a saddle height of 76.5 centimeters from the center of the crank up to where he is perched on the saddle and then from the tip there to the center of the stem measured horizontally it's around about 56.5 7.3 kilograms, including the race number here and the transponder that they've got for the Dubai Tour as well. So not too bad. Now, if you've yet to subscribe to the Global Cycling Network, it is free to do so, and all you have to do is click on the globe. Meanwhile, if you would like to see Sir si Richardson talking through the brand new group sets from Shimano, you can find that in the bottom corner just down there. Or on the other hand, if you'd like to see Kaylee Fretz talking through some of the new tech on display here at the Dubai Tour, you can find that in the other corner just down there.